The recent discovery of invasive zebra mussels in Pactola Reservoir in South Dakota's Black Hills has resulted in the partial closure of a popular fishing area near Newcastle. The Wyoming Game and Fish Department, in consultation with True Ranches, is closing LAK Reservoir east of Newcastle to all motorized and non-motorized watercraft for the remainder of 2022. The closure took effect August 1st. The reservoir will remain open to anglers for shore and ice fishing. Public access to the privately owned LAK Reservoir for fishing and boating is provided through an access agreement between True Ranches and Game and Fish. The reservoir is approximately 122 surface acres fed by Stockade Beaver Creek. LAK is a popular fishery offering anglers the opportunity to catch walleye, smallmouth bass, tiger muskie, and other warm water species. The reservoir also serves as the irrigation reservoir for True Ranch's properties. Now, the recent discovery of zebra mussels in Pactola Reservoir, which is just 62 miles from the Wyoming border, significantly increased the threat of aquatic invasive species to Wyoming's waters. For years, True Ranches has allowed anglers and boaters access to this privately owned reservoir. If zebra mussels were to get introduced and become established, they would likely reproduce exponentially, negatively affecting the fishery and potentially damaging the water infrastructure the ranch relies on to irrigate. The short trip between Pactola and LAK reservoirs and the ability of mussels to spread easily from small amounts of water left standing inside a watercraft is underlined with the fact that adult mussels spread easily as they can attach to hard surfaces and live up to 30 days out of the water. Game and Fish will be working with True Ranches to evaluate options for 2023 to mitigate the AIS threat to the reservoir and other waters in northeast Wyoming. LAK Reservoir is not the only Wyoming water facing the threat of accidental AIS introduction, but it's in an area that does not have an AIS check station in the vicinity to inspect or decontaminate watercraft. All boaters are strongly urged to prevent accidentally moving zebra mussels or other invasive species Cleaning, draining, and drying watercraft and equipment between waters is the most effective way to prevent moving AIS to new locations. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.